Hey everyone, my name is Bob Drake. Uh, it's taken me a year to make this video. I don't know why I've waited so long, but last summer I had a really unique opportunity to work towards getting a private pilot license. I was between two companies and had some time in the summer uh, and signed up for a 14 day accelerated pilot training. It's called AFTI, this is my syllabus for last summer. And I sit here today, two hours short of having my private pilot license, but I did everything in 14 days and just came up two hours short and decided to wait on the check ride. Uh, but I did do my first uh, solo flight. I did two cross country solos, uh, flying, did night flying, and uh, all that was achieved during this 14 day program. I'm not selling anything uh, at all. I just wanted to share my experience. Um, so you'll see in my logbook, when I entered the 14-day accelerated training program, I had only been up four times. Uh, and this was on four Saturdays out of the Renton, Washington airport. And I really didn't do anything. I kind of, you know, uh, pretty much observed. Uh, but I wanted to make sure and see if I could imagine myself flying alone in one of those planes uh, before I went up to Rexburg, Idaho and did the accelerated pilot training. I had about 125 takeoffs and landings before I did my first solo flight. That 14 day period is basically here in my logbook. Before I went to the accelerated training, I did pass the FAA written exam. These are all my flashcards. And what I did is I studied a lot and you can see the books here. Um, I took King uh, online ground school that prepares you really well, the King school for the FAA written exam. And as I took it, I just wrote flashcards to help me memorize things like aircraft systems and weather and, and, and uh, everything you need to know, um, navigation. Uh, I was thinking I should make these flashcards into a, maybe I should commercialize them because I, I ran through these flashcards in one hour before the exam and it helped me with almost every single question. Um, I did okay on the exam because I was kind of rushing. Uh, here's my test report, exam one, 85%. It's okay. Uh, the things that I missed were stuff out of the FAR, uh, more regulations, not things that would necessarily jeopardize my safety in the air, uh, but passing with an 85% I uh, gave my instructor confidence as I came into the 14 day training um, with some good aviation knowledge. I uh, got my third class medical certificate, you know, bought a headset here, got my syllabus, got my student pilot license, and I was ready to go. So I showed up um, on day one and we spent about six to seven hours a day flying, uh, and then I would spend about three to four hours doing simulation and studying. Here you can see the oral exam guide. Um, uh, I went through the FAR in quite a lot of detail. This is like the Bible of aviation. And, and you know, you don't have to read it cover to cover, but you have to be familiar with uh, specific sections as part of the test. These are foggles. When you're up flying, you put these foggles on and that's how you practice instrument flying. We call it going under the hood. Uh, so when you wear these, I can only see the instruments and I'm not, I can't see out of the plane. Um, and so you have to get a certain number of hours of instrument flying. This is called a flight computer, but it's, it, it, it helps you navigate. Um, we do a lot of VOR navigation. Basically we fly with a map and a sectional and that's how you navigate uh, cross country. I'm gonna show a video after this of my first solo flight. This was about eight days in. Day six, day seven, I felt like I was ready. Uh, my instructor wanted to make sure that uh, I could get five solid takeoffs and landings with him next to me before he got out. So my first solo flight came on, on the eighth day of the accelerated training uh, course. My instructor, Todd, took me up. We met early, it was like 7.30 in the morning. Um, it's very hot in Idaho, very high density altitude. Uh, you need a lot of runway uh, to get the plane up. That's how I had been training. Uh, and we went up and we did a couple of touch and goes together. And he wanted to make sure that I could do five perfect touch and goes, uh, cause I had done maybe 125 takeoffs and landings. And, uh, and so I ended up getting five in a row and uh, just go up, stay in the traffic pattern, come back around and, and, and land and reconfigure the plane, take off again. And so he got out of the plane. You're gonna see a video next of me setting up the camera, doing my first solo flight. 
Just do it like I was taught. Yeah. Fancy camera. Yeah, just... All right, any questions? Nope. Just it Your last out. chance. Nope. You're a good teacher. So we'll figure on... I think we've got time to at least do four. I'll, I'll let you know. I'm getting the water too. A lot of thirst to death while you're up flying. Good. All right, well, you'll call when I come short. We'll see ya. I did my first solo flight, and then I spent several hours in the afternoon alone just flying around, practicing maneuvers, steep turns, power on stalls, power off stalls, uh, turns around a point, uh, figure eights, more just maneuvers to get me comfortable in the plane alone. Uh, and then after the, the, that was the afternoon of the morning that I did my first solo flight. It's amazing how quickly once you do that, he's like, okay, right, you know, take the plane, good luck. So the day after my first solo flight, we did a cross country uh, duel together. And we went from Rexburg to Arco, to Pocatello, to Idaho Falls, and then back to Rexburg. And uh, you hit four airports and we did it together and I took very detailed notes. Um, you're flying visually, so you set your heading and you navigate with 
a sectional and I just memorized, you know, if I cross uh, a freeway I, at a certain time, I'd write it down as I cross, you know, a river, because uh, you really want to make sure you're on course and you're visually flying and um, you're also writing down, you know, all the frequencies and the altitudes of each airport because um, they vary, right? And you want to know uh, that you're coming in at the right traffic pattern altitude. And, and I felt good after spending two, three hours, uh, three hours total uh, for that one with my flight instructor. And then he said, great, you're gonna do this alone tomorrow. The next day, um, I, uh, I managed to do that exact same route by myself. Uh, and that was my cross country solo. And it's in my log book. Cross country, there it is. And if you look over here, uh, there's the cross country. I did my night flying. Uh, if you look at the dates, you know, piloting command, uh, all of these solo flying, including my cross country, 721, July 21st. And if you go to the beginning of my logbook, July 18th, July 17th, July 15th, July 14th, and it started on July 11th. And so this, and I again, I'd only done four discovery flights and that's my logbook. And so this was very fast. Um, I loved every minute of it. Obviously it's all in my logbook, signed off by my instructor. And uh, here I sit two hours short. Uh, so what happened? Um, I got to the very last day, day 14, and I was supposed to do my oral exam and check ride and I didn't quite feel 100% ready. Um, I was losing a little bit too much altitude on my steep turns. You have to stay within, you know, 100, plus or minus, I think it's 100 feet, and I was you know, losing more altitude. The steep turns were tough for me, um, as well as the emergency descent. Uh, we had to do basically kill the power right on top of the runway and do an emergency descent where you descend to put out the theoretical engine fire, and then you land between the taxiways, and that was tough. Uh, so I needed more practice. I came away from the training with just four, uh, two hours to go. Um, I need probably, I want to take another 10 to 20 hours. Uh, I have not flown since then, COVID hit, everything else hit, uh, but I'm excited to get my last two hours and then many, many more hours of practice before I do the oral exam and check ride. Uh, so do these accelerated programs work? Hey, I did two cross country flights alone, uh, solo flight. It, it got me 90% of the way. Uh, and I have a lot of confidence now and I'm excited to, uh, to resume at some point. So anyway, that's my story. Enjoy the video.